Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be going over a bit of a different topic than usual. I recently started gaming on GeForce Now, and it's a lot different. So I'm here to tell you what to expect, so let's get into it. I assume you've heard of GeForce Now, seeing as it's a very popular topic right now. But if not, it's a cloud gaming service that runs a large library of PC games on NVIDIA's high-powered PCs, and streams the screen to your computer. This means that you can play PC games on your Chromebook, any PC, Xbox, and even your phone making it so that power-hungry features like high-res textures and ray tracing can be run on even the lowest power PCs. Some of the surprising benefits can actually make it better than having games installed on your local system. For example, how often do you launch a game only to find out that you have a 2 gigabyte update to install before you play? Well, GeForce Now handles updates for you, so you're sure to always be playing the most recent version. And because you don't have to download or update games on your local system, you essentially get infinite game storage, so you can have as many games as you want on your computer without taking up any space. Now this may sound great, but you're probably wondering, how much does it cost? Well, GeForce Now has three tiers of membership. The free tier, which is obviously free, the priority tier, which is $9.99 a month, and the premium tier, which is $19.99 a month. With the free tier, you get standard access to gaming servers, which may mean you'll get a wait time when trying to launch more popular games like Fortnite. You also get up to 720p at 60fps in a session length of one hour. With the priority tier, you get a premium rig with RTX on. Priority access to premium servers, meaning no wait time, up to 1080p at 60fps, and a 6 hour session length. With the premium tier, you get a GeForce RTX 3080 rig, exclusive access to premium servers, which again means no wait time, up to 1440p or 4K at 120fps, and an 8 hour session length. If you plan to check this out for yourself, I'd suggest trying out the free tier to start, so that you can see how your games feel without making any purchases. For me, my games on GeForce Now run really smoothly, I haven't experienced any input delay. One thing I will say is that you will need decent internet, preferably 5 GHz. I would also strongly suggest using Ethernet if possible, but you don't have to. This may not be for you if you already have a pricey rig or don't have fast internet. Anyway, I really hope this helped you out, and feel free to let me know what you think, or if you've tried this. Thanks for watching, have a great day, goodbye.